In a world where any negative activity is associated with Islam without a blink, the conviction that Islam is the religion of peace has almost become a cliché among our non-Muslim folks. While the world monopoly continues to undermine various aspects of Islam, a 21st century study suggests that Islam still tops the list of fastest growing religions in the world. According to a recent report by CNN, approximately 30,000 people convert to Islam annually in the United States. In this video, we're specifically targeting the statistics of U.S. prisons and the reasons why inmates tend to incline towards Islam and spirituality. Let's have a look. Some attention-worthy statistics about the U.S. prisons. Hundreds and thousands of inmates in U.S. prisons tend to incline towards Brotherhood of Islam for the sense of continuity and solace. Don't be surprised because this is not something new. According to a 2011 study, Islam is the fastest growing and highest retaining religion in U.S. prisons. Reasons why the prison inmates in the U.S. accept Islam. One of the most obvious and surface level reasons for this trend may be because of the fact that Islam is a religion that will forgive these inmates when perhaps the rest of the world isn't willing to. While these reasons may vary from person to person, there is obviously a pattern here that inclines so many people towards Islam during their rock bottom phases. Let's discuss a couple of these reasons briefly. Sense of community Embracing Islam in or outside the prison instills a sense of community in a prison. It does not only help the individuals when they're inside a prison, but also when they get out. Some brothers have gone through similar hardships, and they're willing to help and guide new inmates. It's very important for one's well-being, and the benefits continue to help them long after they are out. Most people in prisons are there because they've grown up in communities that were inclined towards crime. We can all agree that people around us have an influence on our personality. When we change them, we're ultimately changing ourselves. Empowerment Converting to Islam in prisons slow down a lot of brothers for the first time in their life. Islam provides them with a sense of knowledge and dignity by empowering a person through literacy. Most inmates are already belong to non-educated families and understanding of the Quran and Islam helps them understand the meaning of life that otherwise they wouldn't get a chance to. According to Sadiq Davis, an inmate who served a total of 25 years behind bars, it took me 40 years to realize that I'm as dumb as a box of rocks. If I had recognized and accepted that earlier, I wouldn't have had to go to prison. Islam made me realize and acknowledge the wrong ways that led me to prison. Sense of continuity. Islam gives them a second chance. It's only obvious that Islam offers you peace and answers for everything going on during your time behind bars. Islam makes it easier to be patient during hard times and lets you have hope for the future. It provides people with a sense of continuity. The teachings of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and ways of Islam help them acknowledge the mercy of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. A chance to fix their old ways and become wholesome beings for good. Feelings of belonging The life of prison is very organized, and Islam is a highly structured religion as well. The five daily prayers inject a sense of discipline, belonging, and purity in your daily routine. The feelings of belonging can light up an individual's well-being. As soon as the inmates begin to let that destructive part of their life go, and something as beautiful as Islam starts to take its place, it provides them with a feeling of continuity and belonging. How can government support future struggles of prison inmates? Regardless of their religious orientation, prison inmates often need extra help when leaving prison to keep themselves out of trouble. The returning citizens often need a little bit of help because people tend to judge them on their past as opposed to their current struggles of changing their ways of life. If the returning citizen is a Muslim, he or she may even have to face Islamophobia. These people walk around with this dark cloud and it comes with not being able to forgive themselves because the world around them treats them differently. This behavior can sometimes lead people to fall into the same old ways that once led them to prison. Without a proper routine, sense of acceptance, and distraction, it's easier to fall back into old ways. Therefore, the government and businesses should perhaps accept a quota of former prisoners when employing and give them a chance. As active members of our community, we should also arrange awareness events and do everything we can to help these individuals stand back on their feet.
If you're interested in discovering more about the trends of acceptance of Islam in the U.S. prisons, you can watch the documentary, The Honest Struggle. It's directed by Justin Mashouf and focuses on the challenges that Muslim inmates encounter as they navigate their faith inside and outside prison.